Hey guys, it's Julie. Um, I'm feeling a little bit not down. I don't know. Maybe a little bit down. A little bit blue. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, uh, there's a lot of change going on in my life right now, and a lot of things that I'm trying to figure out. Um, so, just been busy, just crazy busy, um, between work and just finished phase two of the ultimate journey, which is the class I've been taking, um, on Sundays, and it's been a wonderful class, it's been just really awesome and everything, um, It's just a little frustrating because it takes so much time. I mean, there's letters I have to write. There's homework I have to do every week. And there's all this other stuff. And, you know, and then there's meeting every week. And it just can be just a little overwhelming at times. Especially considering that a lot of it is dealing with stuff in my past. And, um... feel like I'm gonna cry but um so it's kind of interesting it's kind of funny because I just got done watching a video um I don't know how many of you guys watched the Chris Perillo vids or the I forget what he calls like his basically he does like tech Tech, techie reviews and reviews of stuff like iPhones and stuff like that and really cool guy but he also does personal vlog and basically he's kind of going through some rough stuff and he's trying to figure out what he wants to do as far as you know where he wants to go from here with his career and everything and it's just like just watching the video and it's just like I know I can really sympathize, even though I don't necessarily have a problem with my career, so to speak. Of course, I don't really have much of a career, just because of the fact that, you know, I work in a, uh, in a retail store, you know. But, um, I don't know, it just kind of, just kind of hit me in the right place, you know, it kind of made me think. You know, and I left encouraging comments on one of his videos and everything. And it's just like, you know, I think we've all been there to some extent. So, there's that. And, like today, um, I had the day off work. And, um, so, which was good. And what I wanted to do was get some of the phone calls made that I wanted to get made. I need to do my taxes. I haven't done that yet. And, um, there's just so much stuff to do. And I've been going through boxes, um, because the plan is for us to put our house on the market and my sister's house on the market sometime later this year, this, um, uh, month. And, of course, I don't know. I don't know yet where we're going. I don't know if I'm going with them. I don't know if I'm going straight to England. I'm just not really sure. A lot of it's very up in the air at this point. So, all I basically can do is go through my, go through the boxes. I mean, I've gotten down to the boxes that have been up on the shelves in the storage area that I haven't opened in like you know years so kind of interesting kind of like oh I forgot I had this kind of thing you know so you know it's all good I mean nothing's really bad or nothing's really going wrong or anything I think sometimes I just get a little overwhelmed about the whole thing well, and here's the other thing, is today, 
my uh we sit my you know we take care of my niece who's five years old she goes to preschool and all that <laughs> and it's like what I wanted to do since I had the day off was I wanted to spend a part of the afternoon talking with Keith because you know he's my boyfriend I only get to really talk to him via Skype once every Friday so and it seems like last time we did it I kept getting interrupted by the five-year-old and so I was just like well maybe we could do that now maybe we could go and get it that done and and you know I kept getting my door knocked on you know I kept getting try locking my door try you know and she won't go away and it's like she's at that age now where she's starting to say some bad things because she picks it up from other people or you know she gets into a little rebellious moods and she's just like she's just like no you don't have to and i'm just like yeah and i bought this i bought this um enderman plushie the other day at the at the store because I thought it looked really cute and I love playing Minecraft so it was kind of like you know I wanted to play wanted to play with it and wanted to have it and so she's latched onto it and she says it's creepy and she keeps making this weird voice whenever she plays with it and this is gonna sound kind of bad but because of the fact that I still live with my folks you know, it's like mom gets on my case if I end up buying things that, you know, because I need to save up as much of my money as possible. And it's like, I know this, but at the same time, I can afford to buy myself something fun every once in a while. You know, as long as it's not every week or every day or whatever. Um, so, but yeah, so because of all that... I've been wanting to keep my plushies in my room because I don't want to hear about it. I do not want to hear, you should have bought this, blah, 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 you know? And so, so, but Shay keeps wanting it to take it out of my room. She keeps wanting to, you know, and it's like she knows that I don't want her to take it out of this room. She knows I don't want her to, you know, and yet she's still has to do it and it's like I just basically don't want to have kids you know and I mean number one that ship has sailed as far as I'm concerned I'm you know I'm way past that that physically and all that and number two I don't think I ever would have anyway even if I'd been able to and so it was just I don't know it's just irritating you know it's like there's so many times I want to be able to do stuff like this or do you know do stuff like play a computer game or or pose or talk with Keith or something without being interrupted without feeling like I'm you know it just irritates me but um so I guess that's why I'm feeling really kind of stressed really kind of ugh, about it and it's 7 10 p.m. I haven't gotten my taxes done yet and it's just frustrating it's just frustrating to the point of where I, I just don't know what to do so so that's how I feel, you know, and, you know, I mean, and work, well, work is work, you know, I'm not going to say anything specific or anything, you know, because I'm not allowed to, but 
I just, I want a fresh start. I want to be over in England right now. I want to, you know, tired of this. Well, I mean, and, and here's the thing. My mom has been going through, she's had this nasty virus for about four or five weeks now. She's, um, she finally went to the doctor about it, about it, you know, they did some, they did tests, they, you know, couldn't find anything actually growing inside of her or anything, but so basically it's just, basically it's just, I don't know, some kind of nasty virus that she can't seem to shake, so... She basically, I mean, she does fine most of the time, but every once in a while, she'll get to feeling really bad. And she had one of those episodes this afternoon, and I mean, I ended up working out okay, because, you know, I'm down here, I'm talking to Keith on Skype, I'm, you know, we're trying to, you know, spend some time together. And all of a sudden, she comes bursting in and, you know, tries to ransacking my room, tries, you know, taking things and acting like a little brat. And so I was just, I was just like, we're going upstairs. And, you know, and I told Keith I was probably going to have to let him go because, you know, somebody, you know, I mean, I didn't know what was going on with, with mom, but, you know, obviously she wasn't keeping an eye on her, which is unusual, so, you know, so I logged off of Skype, I, you know, took Shay upstairs, proceeded to find out that, you know, there was something wrong with mom, that she was having one of those episodes, and so, and so, you know, I'm trying to, take care of Shay and her entertainer and all that and um I end up taking care of most of preparing dinner which was fine I mean that was you know I'm wanting to learn how to cook more anyway so and that was fine and then my sister came in you know and she helped out too and so we all made dinner and Everything went fine. It tasted wonderful and all that. So, but uh, I just feel frustrated. And then it's like the tapes in my head start playing, and I'm like, and I'm like, well, I'm not getting good with kids, and you know, and you know, and I don't get along with. Blah, 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 you know. I don't know. And it's funny because, like, at work, I get along great with most of the kids that come into our store. I probably get along better with them than their own parents do. You know? And it's like, because I'm the one trying to, you know, talk to them, trying to keep them from going out the, going out the sliding doors right into the parking lot. Where cars speed through at 100 miles an hour. You know, I'm the one, you know, talking to them about what they're buying or, you know, or, or their shirts or whatever, you know, because kids wear the cutest things and stuff. So, but I don't know what it is about Shay. I think, I think a lot of it is just that I get burnt out. You know, because it's like, I end up being, you know, the reserves. I end up being the one, you know, especially if dad goes off and does whatever, you know. It's like, it's just mom and me. So, it's like, I'm the one who's, you know, the reserves. I'm the one who has to do all this other stuff. And so, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's not... I'm sure there'll be times when I feel a little, feel a little bit better about it. It's just frustrating sometimes. 
So anyway, tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my taxes. Hopefully it won't take too terribly long. And, um, and, uh, probably do some posting, work on this. I'm down to one box, and then I'll have Dad bring down one or two more for me. Um, but other than that, um, you know, a lot of it is, I gotta think positive about it. I gotta think about the fact that I am done with most of the stuff in my, stuff in my, Room. I am, you know, I mean, I'm down to the boxes that, you know, I haven't gone through in a while. They've been up in the storage room. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Well, it's number two. I've been taking boxes of, like, books and, and movies and stuff like that. I've been taking that, taking those to the half price bookstore. And, you know, I'm getting some pretty decent money for them. I mean, nothing that's like, you know, nothing like 50 bucks or more, but still at the same time, especially when you consider the fact that most money after I pay my bills and everything, most of my remaining money goes into savings so I can go to England eventually. So it's nice because like the Hat Price Bookstore is basically giving me my, you know, my spending money for, like, if I need to put gas in my car, or if I need to, you know, or if I want to buy snacks or whatever. So, I mean, it's all working out. It's, nothing's, nothing's going horribly or anything. Although I do worry about mom sometimes with her being sick like this because she's usually not, she's usually the strong one who's taking care of everybody else. And to see her like that is just, oof, it's scary. Um, but yeah, I just gotta think about the positive side of things. I've gotta think about, okay, you know, how can I help? You know, I've gotta be willing to help out and stuff. It's just frustrating because, you know, it's like I had this idea in mind. Oh, I'm going to do this, you know. I'm going to spend some nice quality time with Keith that I don't normally get to do because Mondays are usually my long days, you know. I usually end up working about 9.45 or 10 to 4.30. And so by the time I get home, Keith's already gone to bed. And so... It's kind of nice. I don't know. It's just frustrating. And I also wonder if maybe it's partly frustrating because I haven't been playing much lately. I haven't been playing Minecraft. I haven't been playing Sims. I haven't been. I've been kind of wanting to. So I don't know. If, don't know if that has partly to do with it or what. But. Maybe that'll be my treat after I get done with my taxes. Or maybe I should play first and then do my taxes. Because I can stay up a little bit considering I don't have to be at work tomorrow until 2. So, I'm hoping. I'm, you know, and things will get better. Today was just kind of a, uh, you know. It was just kind of a day where I was just kind of like, ugh, you know. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a better day than I am. Better day than I am. At least it's almost over. And then, you know, let's scare the O'Hara says tomorrow is another day. So, you know, tomorrow will hopefully be better. And uh, I'll be able to get my shit done and get the phone calls to me that I need to make and all that stuff. So, Anyway, thanks for letting me rant, guys, and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.